Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Tarot and this is going to be Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and Virgo Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand, Lenormand uh, reading for January 28th to February 3rd, 2018, uh, 19th, excuse me guys. And uh, so while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, once again, I want to remind you that that will be a general reading for Virgo Star Sign and therefore is going to resonate in a different level for a different thing for every single different uh, Virgo. So for that reason in this video I will really try my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and uh, as well their synergy in the spread but uh, ultimately you will have to put some efforts in as well to align that general reading with your personal uh, situation. Now, if you want uh, your personal situation to be analyzed by me uh, through tarot cards, just like I'm doing for the examples in this video, then that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, um, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. So, uh, Virgos, we do have a, a very productive week coming around. Uh, that is due to the fact that these couple of cards are occupying the main position. So we do have the general topic of the week and then that will be the root of the matter. So we can see here how your hard work of the previous weeks and the previous months that you, uh, that you did, the whole control, the whole... Um, what was the English word here, guys? Um, I would have said consistency, but it is not consistency, it's more like a, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, sometimes I'm kind of like stub uh, stumbling upon words here, um, but let's say consistency, it is now paying, um, paying its toll and it's giving you the results that you are required. Of course, looking at these cards, the results are far from ideal at that very point, but you are to see that what you were doing, your ideas, your performance, either regarding career or relationship, depending on what you are working on right now, it does actually matter and uh, that they are not futile at all. So three of cups uh, in a prime position accompanied with the five of cups, it does point to your unyielding standpoint throughout the week to really make your things uh, working out and to um, basically achieve sustainability happiness wise. And again, it will, differ it will differentiate for every single one of you what makes you happy. Is relationship life make you happy or is career life makes you happy or maybe both are making you happy. In any case, guys, you can make significant improvement in either of those um, in either of those fields. Now, many people will see the Five of Cups and will say, well, what is this person talking about? That is a really bad card. And in this case, it isn't. In this case, the Five of Cups, it does represent that despite that the results are not going to be ideal for you, that is not going to be the, the the prerequisite to let you give up. Just on the contrary, because we do have the Three of Cups, the more results are not meeting your expectations, the more Tenace, um, the more tenacious you will become to achieve the results that you want. So, kind of like the more difficult time one suitor gives you, you know, the more uh, involved you will become or the more devoted you will become and that additional devotion will give you the results that you require. The more hard the project is at your career, you know, the more determined you will become to finalize that project and this project is going to yield results for you. The Tree of Cups, it does represent exactly that, how the hard work now is starting to take shape and it is kind of like, uh, you know, giving you the, um, the glimpse, the remnants of the end goals or, or of the end results that you can have should you maintain your flawless performance. Additionally, the Three of Cups, it does point that you will not kind of suffer from being deprived of attention. So, 
people will want to uh, will will want to help you. People will want to give you an ideas. People will want to contribute um, in your activities and in your agendas. Now, Three of Cups is very um, socially oriented card. It's more like a uh, um, where you have to involve yourself into cooperations. Why? I mean, you can proceed on your own. That is true. But if you follow the advice or the uh, the potential of the Three of Cups because this is your potential. If you feel that you're strong enough on your own, that's totally fine. You know, you can continue on and face the change that is coming because the change is coming here, guys, with these couple of cards. But we're going to get there in, in a second. So that is totally fine. You can do so. But if you consider just for a moment, you know, to make a cooperation, to make an alliance with someone around you that is working into the same direction, that is going to expand your vision, is going to make the current results less bearable in the sense of that, as I said, you may not face the results that you are expecting and yet you can see that you can't face them, you know, which is the two different things. The cooperation will make this state of, uh, of a petite poignancy uh, much more bearable and also is going to charge you with, uh, with determination. Not to mention that you are going to receive sound advices, not to mention that you are going to uh, obtain some fresh ideas, you will expand your vision and the most important thing is that you can share what worries you, what troubles you and you can have those fruitless conversations with those people which are going to help you to overcome your fears. The next card that we do have, this is the Emperor and the Emperor is the core, the root, why this is happening and we do have the King of Swords that accompanies the Emperor. So. What these cards are pointing here is that you made the right decisions in the past. That is all that these cards are pointing. That you had the accurate diagnosis upon where you are right now, how you can achieve your goal, and you definitely made the most accurate decisions for yourself, for your family, for your boyfriend or a girlfriend, you know, for your boss, for your career, and etc. etc. You have gained control upon your situation, one way or another. Now, if you think that your situation it is more chaotic chaotic than you than you want it to be that is because as i said the results are not yet fully here right i mean and you need to have a little bit more it's not even patience but more determination to bring your deeds to the very end but definitely here the responsibilities that you needed to attend to, the responsibilities that you need to address in many ways have been addressed. The, the problems which are holding you back have been addressed. You know, the people which could help you are also being addressed. Those who are going to slow you down are also being addressed. And generally, these cards here are pointing that you have sorted your things out, you made your uh, plan, your strategy, if I may express myself that way, you, systemi you systemized it in a uh, to-go list, into a narrative, if I may express myself that way, and working by that plan is going, is going to be the thing that yields you great, great results. Now, important thing here to be acknowledged as well as a core of the situation is that not everybody will be able to keep on that motion. That is coming from the King of Swords. Now, with the King of Swords, what is characteristic for this card is that uh, the person who is running their, uh, their endeavors under the energy of the King of Swords, they do not keep up with others. The others are keeping up with them. So if somebody that you are working with or someone, somebody that is involved into those endeavors of yours, if they cannot keep up, then unfortunately you will have to leave them behind. It's just how it works. Because otherwise they will slow the whole plan and um, I don't want to say that they are going to ruin you know your ultimate goals and your ultimate achievements but the very least you know they are going to pollute um, 
they're going to pollute the environment and uh, definitely you are going to experience less satisfaction of the results reached because deep down within yourself uh, Virgos you will know that it could have been much more easier than it is with these people around so if there is someone that is slowing you down if there is someone that cannot keep up if there is someone who cannot perform don't be um, don't don't be hesitant to uh, basically uh, drop that dead weight of the platter and just continue uh, doing what you are doing uh, on your own or only with those who actually knows what they're doing and who actually can keep up now we are going to the very important card in the reading that will be the page of cups accompanied with the eight of pentacles so we do have here a, a passive friend so this week is going to be very important because the page is pointing that a change is looming from the horizon it is not there yet but it is coming around a change either into your company into your social circle or into your relationship and you will have the fortune throughout this week to see where that change is coming from all right or where that change is to take place but what will be hard for you to do is to believe that that change is to happen and you may ignore the warnings of of the universe if you want to say it that way that you may that you need to make the adaptations required in order to face that change in a positive way all right so if you want to say it that way it will be important throughout the week to listen to your intuition not to ignore your inner voice not to ignore your feelings as well feeling that something isn't going on very very uh, if you feel that a certain decision that you are to make is not going to yield the result then that is probably what is going to happen so it is important as i said to follow your emotional stir right and also it will be important regardless of how difficult could be throughout this week is to readopt your positions to readopt your strategies if you need to because you will do have all the power to do so i mean you set your things in order you know you have gra you have uh, regained control upon your um upon your enterprises and upon your agendas and you get to choose what you're going to do with them all right so you can definitely be able to readopt them to reschedule them you know or to reassess them because that is what these cards are pointing that you may find it difficult to make a critical assessment of oneself recognizing which standpoints or which positions are outdated and which positions are to be um kind of like consolidated if I may use that term here and you need to do that very carefully here not to rush eight of pentacles it does point that you gotta make what you want to what you want to make the way you want to make it no compromise are acceptable all right so if something isn't working out according to plan then you have to go back to the start and do it according to your expectations once again yeah it's gonna take a little bit more time well it may take a lot more time but if the time taken here is not gonna be a waste time all right it's going to um it's going to worth it so just be uh, be calm guys and, and be meticulous about your performance and do not make a compromise with uh, with your uh, expectations and as well with your goals and dreams for that matter the eight of pentacles also here could um, play a little bit more eerie role uh, in the sense of that if you decide to um, involve yourself with many people so to make a cooperation these card may point these cards here into that negative position may point that you may find it difficult to accept different opinion all right but you will need to learn all right you need to learn not just from your mistakes but as well from the mistakes of others so if someone tells you that what you're trying to do is a mistake because you know they tried it back in the past and it didn't work out it doesn't mean that it's not going to work out for you it is just you need to find out why it did not work out for them correct their error and do what you you know what you initially are uh, anticipating so very very potent week here to uh, really consolidate uh, consolidate your position and make a preparation for a, a big change looming into the horizon either uh, for your career or either for your relationship again is going to depend for every single one of you and 
finally for these cards you should not be afraid to make mistakes as well because with the eight of pentacles this is a growth and development through the ups and downs you try one thing it doesn't really work out all right so you try it in a different way it kind of works out but not exactly as you want it to be so you try it in a third way that's why for that card i am saying that you gotta make what you want to make the way you want to make it you need to find that way that you want to make it right and that is through trying 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 without giving up and the more people you can attract as an ally here and as a uh, as a helping hand the better and the last card that we do have this is the guidance here and we do have the moon card accompanied with uh, the uh, four of wands so what these cards are pointing is that the end result it is far from done as a matter of fact you don't even have the end result in your in your head yet so you can have a certain goal giving you an example you're dating with a person and your end goal with that person is to be together in a relationship well, that is not the end goal in reality. You know, reality is completely different. Your end goal with that person is to be either engaged, to have family with them and etc. etc. So what I'm trying to say is that whatever you are developing here has so much bigger potential than you are having in your head at that very moment. So let's say uh, from another hand that you are initiating a, a certain service that you are offering as a private business right and you do have a, a goal to have let's say 20 um, 20 customers a month well you cannot stop there it is what these cards are pointing is these cards are pointing that your uh, the only end goal or kind of like the ultimate development of your enterprise lies into your imagination so now throughout this week it will be also important if you can combine your wisdom with your imagination as well and with your creativity and that will um, search a, a huge insight of where your capabilities lies because Virgos you are yet to find out how capable you are and I think in that specific field, of course, that you're trying to develop. Not in everything, but in either your relation, current relationship, current suitor, or current career. It is just, you have so much more potential. And that is just the beginning, you know, of you grasping upon the right path, how you can unfold that potential. And as soon as you grasp on it, then the changes start coming around and then you can align yourself you know with uh with in generally the benefits and the potential that this enterprise is giving to you or it has for your uh for your behalf these cards here are saying that the circle is not closed all right i mean what you what you are imagining right now it is way below the limits of what you can get so i hope you have big dreams guys because your dreams inevitably here if you can utilize this change coming are to come true hopefully to their maximum extent so i think that you are quite blessed to have such a week and i hope that you don't slack throughout the week either so uh, that was the tarot reading for you Virgos and now I am shuffling the Lenormand cards and what they are to show us is an event that you should either look forward to or try to avoid. Alright so the first card that we do have this is the mice and the mice is associated with troubles and is associated with problems as well which are um, internal however then we do have the uh, 
the bucket and the bucket is benefits it's rewards as well it's a good fortune in general and then we do have the clover which stands for small it stands for small amount of, uh, of success for small amounts of uh, improvement of, as well and for small amounts of luck so it kind of likes this cover what I said here is that you will have small benefits but not as big as you have anticipated because something is going to deprive you from it and that something I believe it's time itself because the change that you are hoping to happen or the unfoldment that you are hoping to happen throughout this week it is yet to happen it is now looming on the horizon but you will have to sort your things out you will need to make the accurate strategy here as I said how you are going to get what you want to get the way you want to get it and uh, get it and um, the the what is left here it's uh, basically determination and uh, consistency so that being said Virgos this was your uh, weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for January 28 to February 3rd 2019 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, once again that was a general reading for Virgo star sign and for that reason this reading is going to resonate in a different level for a different thing for every single different uh, Virgos if you want your personal situation however to be analyzed through tarot by me just like I did for the few examples here in this video uh, well that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing out now, see you next time. Bye!